Oh. Are you gonna get a second round of car confessionals today? Yes, you are. Why? Because I feel like it, bitch. So I'm laying in bed watching um, Pirates of the Caribbean number two because I am doing a Johnny Depp um, marathon tonight for myself. And um, I'm also scrolling through my Instagram. And I'm on like the reels part of my Instagram. And a video pops up of a, a farmer carrying a calf. Looks like a brand new baby calf somewhere. And I'm like, gosh, he looks familiar. And then the video goes to uh, an adorable little girl who's like cuddling with said calf on a like doggy bed or something. And I'm like, gosh, she looks familiar. Well, uh, duh, it's one of my friends I grew up with. Um, Cree and her family um, and Durango, well they're in Bayfield but um, they're amazing and I was like oh my god you guys are famous so that happened and I was like okay cool let's send that to her and be like hey you guys are on my timeline that's super awesome it's just weird because it was like a viral video and I was like oh my god that's really fucking cool and she's the sweetest girl I always felt really fucking cool with her because she was a year older than me and she was also like super popular and super down to earth and uh she she liked me she she was my friend so there were a couple of those girls in that group um Brianna um Aubrey um Cree, Megan, Jenny, Brandy, they all just were dope ass chicks and now they're dope ass women and it really makes me happy to see them um, just balling out in life right now. But anyways, that is why I wanted to make another car confessionals, but I thought I'd talk about it because it made my heart happy. Because then I thought about, like, when I grew up and how lucky I was when and where I grew up. And um, then I was like, gosh. Ooh, Kelly, you need to get rid of that. Um, I was like, gosh, I need something sweet to eat. And then I'm like, do I want to order a DoorDash? Like, something? No, let's not. Let's go back to old school Kelly life. And I'm going to make some cinnamon toast. So I'm um, gonna talk to you while I do it. But um, yeah, man, like I think about it and um, I'm a Texan. Yes, I am a Texan, born in Houston. But my parents had sort of like a midlife crisis and moved us to a small town in the Southwest in the Four Corners called Durango. And I know that I don't have to explain this to you guys because if you're watching this, you're probably my friend and we probably grew up together and you're from there. Um, but uh, it was like a magical place. It really was. It was a very small town. We didn't have a Walmart. Uh, the closest Walmart was like 45 minutes away in Farmington with the Sam's Club. Um, but... It was just super cool, man. Like, I, I really, I was lucky. I think that we as millennials were, of course, the last um, group of people who, we weren't latchkey kids, but we were. I, I walked home, I walked to school. Um, I could walk anywhere basically I wanted to and be safe. Um, you know, of course, danger and monsters are everywhere but it, it was such like a pure time such a pure place um but yeah those girls i mean just seeing Crete, and i see her all the time on my facebook because she's a small business owner her and her husband uh paul own um they own a they own uh, La Platte 
pond and they turned it into a wedding venue years ago. So she is always posting gorgeous, beautiful things from there. But also she's a Rodan Fields rep. And I'm, I mean rep as in like she got in when the shit was hot and before um, net, um, multi network marketing became like taboo and bad. Um, excuse me guys. But uh, yeah man, like I see her all the time on my Facebook and on my Instagram because we're friends and I just love watching her and even when she's talking about products and stuff, love it. Um, I think it's great. Uh, but it really warmed my heart because I'm still friends with all these girls, women now, on Facebook and Insta and all that stuff. But it's just, it's something else, you know, like, I'm a big girl, I'm a big woman, um, excluding all the weight I've gained over quarantine in the past year. But I literally was this height and about this build. I mean, I weighed 198 pounds or 188 pounds from my, gosh, starting like my junior year of high school through college till I got pregnant. So I've always been the big, scary, intimidating person. Like, if I don't open my mouth and talk, you think I'm terrifying. Um, and some friends, you obviously could tell that I was like their death, right? I wasn't super pretty. I, I was popular because I was friends with everybody because once they got to know me, they realized, oh, she's just a fucking idiot. She's hilarious. She's a goofball. But um, I wasn't ever like the super pretty one or the super smart one or the... The only thing I was good at was sports. Primarily softball. Um, but yeah, like... Those girls were older than me, and they were just fucking... I used to think that they were so, like, cosmopolitan, even. They were so fucking, like, badass and kind and, like, cultured compared to me. I love them. And uh, I just love seeing them now. Growing up, all of them were all grown. Most of us have kids. Um... But, you know, like, just seeing each other. And they're all still great friends. And they all still get together, literally, like, I, I think very often. Um, and I love that. I love that so much. But, yeah, like, it just brought me back to that feeling of, like, being at the high school basketball game. Sitting in the stands and, like, Marissa and Cree, like taking the time to like, Kelly, Kelly, come here. Like, hey, we, hi, like gave me their pager number. Like, it was really cool, man. And it just brings me back to like happiness. That, that kind of giddy feeling you get when people are really nice to you and you feel like they're out of your league, basically even for a friend. That's how I felt. And I just love seeing them. Um, so, yeah, man, I just, I don't know if anybody else still has those, like, flashback feelings sometimes, but it happens to me quite a bit um, when I see, of course, old photos and I hear old songs especially. If I hear a song that hits my ears or hit, hit my soul a certain way when I was younger, like, I get goosebumps and immediately can, like, I feel like I Raven Simone fucking that's a raven flashback have a vision of where i was the last time i heard that song or when it made a huge impact on me and um that happens too when i see friends post things i mean god anytime that my friend mary <laughs> shout out mary spear whenever you post anything dude i automatically get like a rush back to like fucking third fourth fifth grade tearing shit up and being little hellions that we were so yeah, I just, I don't know what the point of this one is other than just to talk because it's cool. But, you know, I thought there might be other people who have these kind of reactions and felt those feelings when we were younger. And now we're just like super proud that you have those people in your life. 